That bill will pass the House if it comes to the floor of the House. The only way it doesn't pass the House, because there is a, a majority of the House of Representatives that supports funding for Ukraine, is if Speaker Johnson makes a decision to put a bill that has the entire package from the president, fights Putin and Hamas, and keeps China at bay, and takes care of the natural disasters that dozens of our communities across the country desperately need relief from, puts it on the floor and allows a majority of the House of Representatives to say that they support it. Then it'll go to President mm -hmm. Biden's desk and he'll sign it into law. That's how we can do that. That's how the democratic process works. And we are just hearing from the White House National Security Spokesperson, uh, Admiral Kirby, again reiterating that Biden would veto uh, a bill that only funds Israel. It just becomes a question, though, Congresswoman, of expediency. There has been a lot of hiccups in the House in recent weeks, partially because there was no speaker. There is now, and he clearly wants to do this in a single bill. So is there a point at which it just becomes too urgent to get this funding to Israel, as that is a live, hot conflict ongoing right now where you things would change for you? This is very simple. Even if Speaker Johnson wanted to do it as a single bill, why is he conditioning aid? Why is he adding... IRS cuts. I mean, that's like having a restaurant. Okay, so Congresswoman, if I could just clarify, that's not your clean. issue primarily is the pay for, not taking these as single subjects. If it was a single subject, no, I don't funding think, for I Israel don't think it bill. I don't think it should be a okay. single subject. I think the whole package should come, but I, it, it certainly makes it deeply problematic to put it on the floor when he has a, a pay for that blows up the deficit, that sets an, a dangerous precedent, and uh, and that is grossly irresponsible. Congressman uh, Pete an, Aguilar said earlier easy. today, just, Congresswoman. Just put it on the floor. Sure. Ahead, Pete Aguilar said that, that the new speaker is a total disaster. Are Democrats going to give him a chance, or is this is already not working, Congresswoman, based on what you're hearing from Mike Johnson? I mean, he certainly doesn't, hasn't started out uh, with a, a responsible step foot forward. We could have had a 400-plus member vote in support of s s aid to Israel in her hour of need, and instead he's playing political games and using Israel as a, as a political wedge. Not a very good telegraph mm -hmm. of things to come. We'll see what happens, but we've got a looming government shutdown. Uh, let's hope make to, that we can come together and ensure that we don't plunge our economy into disaster by doing something like that. So, Congresswoman, aside from the question of providing funding for Israel, there also are just questions surrounding the conflict Israel is currently engaged in. There is reporting today that Secretary of State Antony Blinken, when he makes a trip uh, there tomorrow, is going to be pushing the Israeli government to essentially make a series uh, of pauses in their strikes to allow humanitarian aid in and to allow, allow hostages uh, to get out. Do you think at that point, at this point, that is an appropriate strategy? Should Israel be taking any pauses here? Israel's a sovereign nation, and they need, to, they need to be able to make sure that they can defend themselves and make their own decisions about how best to do that. The goal here must be to eradicate Hamas. You have only to look at the video that the Hamas spokesperson uh, did with an interv a, a news interview in which he said, the Hamas attacks from 10-7 were the first time, but there will be a second and a third and a thousandth time because they will go after Israelis and try to eradicate Israel and kill Jews until we're all dead and until Israel is gone. So this is not something that we just you know, shrug our shoulders and it's one and done. Uh, they, they are telling us what they're going to do and Israel has to be able to eradicate Hamas. And certainly we need to make sure we protect innocent Palestinian lives. We need to free Gaza from Hamas, and we need to make sure that we can get humanitarian aid in there as long as it's not going to strengthen Hamas instead of, instead of weaken it.